Yo. What's up, I'm Leo. I'm Carlos. And Jose is behind the camera with Joseph. And today we're going to be rebuilding the alternator. And yeah, let's get into the video. We're going to need an 8 inch deep socket and a 3 8 drive. We're going to take out these bolts right here. Disconnect it. And you're going to need a 24 black socket and a turn ah. pack gun. Let's take, take off that right here. Okay, so now we're gonna identify the components of the alternator. So first, you got the you got the housings, different house, you know, housings. You got the cooling fan. You got you got the rotor. All right, next we have the stator right here, this part. Then on the inside, we have the regulator, which controls voltage in the alternator. We have the rectifier bridge, and we have the brushes that you can kind of move in and out of the way when taking out and putting back in an alternator. All right, and now we're gonna show you how to put it back together so y'all don't mess it up, you know? All right, so there are two different ways, there are two different stators that can be built. There's the one, there's, an, there's a Y stator, and there's a delta stator. The difference between them is when you have the wires coming up, a delta stator will have two wires coming out into one eyelet versus an I versus a Y stator, which will only have one wire. So we can tell that okay. this is a Y stator just based off of that. Okay, so to start off putting your alternator back together, you see these brushes here in the way? Well, if you were to just immediately throw the rotor back on top, it'd crush them and they would be useless. So instead, we're gonna pry them back with our fingers at first, and then on the flip side, right through that hole, we're gonna take a little T-pin or something of the sort, and you gotta line it up with the hole right there, and that'll hold your brushes back. But just don't forget to take it out afterwards. All right, next we have the stator. Make sure that these wires are down and perfectly and perfectly go along these bolts on the rectifier bridge. Um. All right, next we're gonna put the rotor in. You wanna install the rotor as to where you get the brushes touching both of these parts right here. So you basically just stick it right in Get it in the middle, push it down, that way it's nice and flush with the uh, with this right here. Alright, so next we're going to install the housing. Make sure you get the big ring and put it right on top of there just like that. And then just push it right on down. It should just slide right in like that. Alright, and then you got to make sure the bolts are on the bottom. So make sure you flip it over like that and then stick the bolts in just like that. All right, don't forget guys, that y'all gotta take out the T-pin so the brushes can hit. Just like that, simple. Good. All right, so we're gonna put the finishing uh, parts on. So first you're gonna put the Appreciate washing pin on. I like that. <laughs> you're gonna put the cooling fan. You gotta put this on. And then that ring. And then it's... I got it. Just hold on. Ah! Damn. Slow. That should be good right there. And that's how y'all rebuild an alternator. Leo, Carlos, and Joseph. Ah! Ah!